Hey guys, I am back, and in this uh, episode, we are going to uh, make a background and some enemies for your game. So, if you didn't know how to do this before, to load your file or game back up, just click this uh, folder button, and whatever your game is saved as, just open it up, and it's really simple. All the folders are closed, so if you think that it didn't load, it probably did. Just click the plus signs. Uh, but yeah, let's get to creating the background. Now to create the background, just click this button right over here. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as this. And click edit background. Uh, now it's pretty much the same thing for creating sprites. So I'm going to come back uh, after I'm done making my background. Okay, so once you like the background that you have, uh, you're just going to click this check mark. Uh, please note that um, you can make the background as complex as you want. You can make it like have chairs and everything in the background, and houses and people. However, you're going to have to make it in 32 by 32 bit sections, I believe it's 30. Oh, maybe it's 64. Yeah, it's 64 by 64 bit sections. Uh, you're going to have to keep it at that because uh, Game Maker functions in like tiles. So you're going to have tiles in your actual room. Um, so you're going to have to work around that. I just like making it so that it repeats tiles as one kind of fluent background and that's it. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So um, just click the check mark when you're done. Uh, you can make multiple backgrounds. I believe you can make 10. So uh, you could do that with um, your rooms. Uh, but yeah, so once you're done with your background, open up your room. Uh, go into tiles just to make sure that you have your background as you can see there's a bunch of t different tiles over here And I believe you could put your different tiles here as I said before uh, Like if you have specific tiles that you want in specific different places uh, However, we're not doing that. We're just going to go and click this button into backgrounds um, Then go on to this and then just click background number zero, which is what I have right over here um, but then again, if you don't like that, you can just go into tiles and make it however you want. But this is probably the probably the easiest way to make your background. So click the check mark when you like what you've done. Now we're going to make the enemy. So create another sprite and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it enemy uh, zero or enemy one, and I'm going to load my uh, robot guy. And I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to come back when I'm done again. All right, so I like the way this guy looks. I'm just going to click the check mark right over here and check mark again, and click OK. Now we're going to create another object right over here. I'm sorry if I'm going a bit fast. I want to make these videos nice and short, so you guys know what you're doing in different sections. Um, but now you're going to click this button right over here and click Enemy dash zero or whatever you named your enemy and then click add event now what this is going to do is it's going to make your enemy uh, able to follow you so click uh, the step event just step and then go on to and then drag this little box right over into your actions folder now for your X coordinate you're going to type whatever the name of your main character is so in our case it's object one, you're, you're not going to do the sprite, that won't work at all. So just do object one or whatever the object that you made your main character is. And then dot x, that's very important. If you don't have the dot x, nothing will happen. And then object number one dot y. Pretty simple, but very important. And then speed, I like to make it quite challenging for my players, so I'm going to make it 4.5. But again, you can make it like 2, say, although it would be quite boring and then make it so that it avoids solid objects only and then click OK and now when you open your game uh, there's nothing over here oh well in order to fix that uh, you're going to go into your room and then add your enemy as you can see my enemy is already loaded right over here as object number two uh, you can go back and make it object number one but I highly suggest not doing that because you do not want two main characters, that makes it a bit confusing. 
Um, but let's just say you did that by accident. All you have to do is right click it and he disappears. So that's pretty simple. Uh, the instructions are right over here, just in case you didn't see. So we're going to go into object number two. We're just going to place a couple enemies along here just to make it a little interesting and then click OK. Now we're going to play this again. Alright, so these guys are really slow and they follow me as you can see. Pretty entertaining. Uh, but as you can also see, they kind of group up on each other as... Okay, wait, I just need to make them group up on each other. Yeah, they all, they group up on each other and they don't do much. Yeah, they don't actually hit me at all. They just cover me. Makes it kind of annoying. Uh, so if you want to fix the grouping up thing, uh, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is make them solid. And then make your main character solid. And now they will not group up on each other, as you can see right over here. They will go around your character, so... Pretty, pretty simple right over here. Um, but yeah, there's not really much going on here. As you can see, I don't have any lives. So we're going to save lives and stuff like that for the next tutorial. Um, I'm sorry you guys have to wait for different tutorials. I'm not, I can't make like a one hour long episode um, and just like post it because you guys are not going to sit through that. So you're just going to have to deal with these like five to seven minute long episodes. But if you like this video, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys next time.